welcome to the 218th installment of Tell em Alejandro, your number one place for sports, cars, video games, fitness. If you're a man, you're here. Mr. Alejandro's about to tell him. What you about to tell him, Alejandro? I'm about to tell him about the dustiest beard in the game today, baby. James Harden getting traded. Tell him, Alejandro! DA drinking. Oh, snap! Brooklyn! In the middle of Donald Trump getting impeached for the second time, the dustiest beard in the game today, James Harden, just got traded from the Houston Rockets to the Brooklyn Nets. Four, three unprotected first round picks from the Brooklyn Nets, a unprotected Milwaukee Bucks draft pick that the Brooklyn Nets had, and also four draft pick swaps in the first round, combined with the services of Karis LeVert, a young and up and coming player, a player who I think has star potential, who Houston took and moved to Indiana for my man. Man's Victor Oladipo and also the Cleveland Cavaliers jumped in and helped make the trade possible and they got another young piece from the Brooklyn Nets my man Jared Allen aka Afro this is a move from the Brooklyn Nets to clearly try and solidify not only a finals appearance this season but they trying to win the chip this was something that a lot of people not only foreseen for a few months, but it got crazy because yesterday James Harden basically went in a press conference after getting blown out by the Lakers in a game where LeBron James was doing the Steph Curry, banging threes and not even looking at it go in because he knew it was going in. James Harden after the game basically was saying, we're not good enough, da 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 da, mad junk. We're just not good enough. One of the Houston Rockets teammates, John Weezy Maneezy, AKA John Wall, came out in a press conference and basically was saying, you know, we have people not trying to buy in. People shouldn't be quitting after only nine games. Da 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 da. You know what it is. Turmoil. When you have certain guys in the mix that don't want to buy in all this one, it's going to be hard to do anything special, do anything good as a basketball team. So, long story short, James Harden ended up getting his way. He got sent to Brooklyn. Houston got mad stuff. You know what it is. They got the finesse package going on. And I still don't think Brooklyn will defeat LeBron and the LA Lakers in the finals when we eventually get there. Because I feel like the Brooklyn Nets need some defensive pieces. They don't need extra scoring. And you also have three players who don't fit. You have two players in Byree, Kyrie Irving, and the dustiest beard in the game today, Dusty Beard James Harden who are ball hogs and they're gonna have to share how is that gonna be possible with one rock you look at a lot of other stars who combine their powers like a lebron james and an anthony davis and it fits because ad doesn't need the rock so that sets up a player like a lebron who likes to pass to keep feeding them as of late byree hasn't even been playing for the brooklyn nets he's been out here celebrating his sister's 30th birthday with no corona mask no corona gloves no sanitizer and he's just listed as not playing for quote unquote per personal reasons. this is gonna work out for the Brooklyn Nets however I will say on paper talent wise they might be the best squad in the league today whether they put it together or not we're gonna have to wait and see I do know tonight Brooklyn goes against the Knicks let's go Knicks yeah Tell him. 